guys, it's Erica. So wow, it's been a while. It's been a quick minute. I know I missed a few monthly favorites, but today I'm coming back at you with some new current favorites, beauty, hair, and skincare. So let's go ahead and get right through it. Okay, so I'm really loving the Marc Jacobs. I recently picked this up. It's the beige medium. Oh, I've probably been using it for the last month. It's the Marc Jacobs Remarkable, and I am in the shade medium beige and I love it. It's a great full coverage foundation. The only thing that I don't like about it is I wish it was more of a pump than one of those um, uh, dropper. It's probably one of the best full coverage foundations. I love the finish that it gives me. It keeps me mattified. Of course, I do use a setting spray, so I haven't really tried it without a setting spray and it probably has something to do with my um, primer as well. Can't speak lightly about how mattifying it is yet, so I'll have to get back to you on that one. We can probably test it later. The next face product I've been loving is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. It has the SPF 15, and I only got this size because this one is a tiny little size. It is the... 0.30 fluid ounces and I love it because of the pump. I tend to use two pumps of it just because I feel like it does better for my skin that way, but I absolutely love it. I will be purchased the bigger size unless there's another primer that catches my eye here on YouTube or at Sephora, so I'll let you guys know about that. The next face product that I have been loving is the Bosha White Charcoal Mattifying Makeup Setting Spray and this is a huge one. I love the bottle. I really like how the bottle is. It's it's a pretty much a mattifying makeup setting spray. You have to shake it up really well until you can feel that it doesn't need to be shaken up. When you shake it up, you'll know what I mean because otherwise it's going to give you like this white spot dewy, um, you know when you get a car wash and you don't get it um, um, spot free dried where the sun kind of dries out the spots on the car, the wet spots, that's what it's going to do to your face. It's definitely worth the buck in my opinion. I wish they had a smaller one, but if you're in the market for a new setting spray, I highly recommend you try this out. Speaking of Basha, I actually picked this up and I haven't tried it yet, so I'm going to try it out tonight. I tried it do like um, a really thorough skincare routine on Sundays, wash away all the impurities and clean out my pores and really deep cleanse my skin. So I'm gonna try the Basha Charcoal Pore Minimizing Hydrogel Mask. I'm so excited to try this. Definitely let me know down in the section below if you have tried the Basha masks. All of them look amazing, but this is the one that I really wanted to get my hands on. The next beauty product that I have been loving, and I'm actually wearing it on my lids today and I'm not sure if you guys can kind of see it as well but it's the NARS Himalaya eyeshadow and you can wear this dry or wet and I know oh my gosh it's such a gorgeous color it's almost like a satin taupe but much more shimmery and it's so pretty when worn wet and even dry so what I did is I wore it dry on my crease and then on my lids I just patted it after wetting it with some drops of water and it came out beautifully so I really like that um, you can't see it it's like not Camera is not doing it justice whatsoever, but again, it's the NARS Himalaya eyeshadow, and it is a dual intensity eyeshadow. Yep. And the next thing from NARS is the Jubilation Dual Intensity Blush, and this is just absolutely beautiful. First of all, I love using these two as especially the rose gold coppery one. I wish it would focus. I love using it as eyeshadow as well, but they are highlighters. They're not, I wouldn't use it as a blush. They're more for like strobing and highlighting. I like to wear it on its own, each shade on its own, or mix it up once in a while, but they are just absolutely beautiful. I know that this is totally not going to do it any justice. I really wish that I could swatch it better for you guys. I will try to do a swatch later for you guys on Instagram, so definitely follow me on Instagram. They're just such beautiful colors and I love using it as highlight. They're just very multifunctional and that's what I love about these dual intensity products from NARS. So the next brand is something I've really been wanting to try for a very long time. I just haven't really... Okay, to be honest, it's the packaging that gets me. So I recently picked up the Givenchy or Givenchy is the Paris 
black taffeta mascara, which the packaging for Givenchy or Givenchy is just simply up my alley. Like, I absolutely love their packaging. It's, you know, honestly what gets me at Sephora and on the website. And I, oh my gosh, I'm just a huge sucker for their packaging. I love this one. It's in the really pretty package, like copper, black, and silver. I absolutely adore the brush on this, and I really enjoy the formula. So it gives you enough wetness, but at the same time, allows you the right um, application so that you can go ahead and reapply layers and layers, make it as volumed or as defined as possible. The other Givenchy or Givenchy product that I have been loving lately is their lipsticks and this one is the Le Rouge Givenchy in 303 Coral Decollect. And oh my gosh, the packaging, again, I can't even, it's, oh my gosh, I know, I have an issue. I have issues. Of course, leather detail, which, oh, I'm so sorry that my camera takes forever to focus. I think I need a new lens. If you guys are YouTubers or have recommendations, please let me know what lens I can get um, besides my, I think I have the 18-55 millimeter for filming. Right now I'm looking at it. Um, Sorry if I look cross-eyed, but if there's any other lenses that you feel it's probably got to do a lot with my lighting also, um, I will get the ring light filming, filming ring light very soon. Um, but for now, if there's any recommendations of, you know, any awesome um, lenses, let me know. So this color is just love, honestly. Look at it, please focus, please. And I love, there you go. It's a beautiful coral pink, I would say. I love patting it to give my lip just like a, a, like a plump look. It's beautiful to pack on. It's gonna take a minute, but can we just check out and appreciate the logo right there? Do you guys see it on the bullet part of the lipstick? Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. It's embossed in that color. Ah, it's not focusing so well, but I love the finish of it. I love being able, oh, the case is just, it's absolutely darling. I love it so much, but I love the way that it feels and I also like that it is moisturizing enough that even if I just dab it on my lips for like a very natural plump flush to my lips for everyday wear, it lasts for a really long time. And for a working mom, I really appreciate it. So thumbs up for Givenchy or Givenchy Beauty because I, you guys got me hooked on your new products. So next up is a brand new, well not a brand new, something that I've been eyeing at Sephora and I've heard a ton of good things about it. Makeup by Tiffany D raves about this um, hair product from Sephora. And I don't know if you can get it at Ulta, but it's the Living Proof. Um, line and I got the PhD perfect hair day dry shampoo which is absolutely amazing it makes my hair super volumed and feeling so so fresh it's probably one of the best dry shampoos I've ever had I know I really want to check out the other hair care line that everyone's been raving about the oh oh I don't even know how to pronounce it it's spelled O A I no O-A-U-I or A-U-A. I'm really hearing a ton of good things about that hairline too. So I'm definitely gonna check that out next. But so far, I'm totally loving these. I'm already out of this one. I'm also loving the Flex Shaping Hairspray. And you could use this for damp and dry hair, which, and they all smell so amazing. I love the packaging too. And for skincare, I just want to throw out a few skincare favorites. The number one toner in my life right now is the Pixie Skin Treats Glow Tonic To Go. And this one is an already pre-wet little, um, what do you call it? Pads? The Exfoliating Toner Pads with 5% Glycolic Aloe Vera and Ginseng. It's just amazing. And I had the Glow Tonic bottle, but I'm really liking the pads because it's easier to travel with as well. So thumbs up, Pixie. I adore them. You can purchase them at Target. I have a ton of Pixie stuff, but this by far is my favorite Pixie, you know, favorite Pixie product. Product, product, Pixie product ever. And the other one, you know, where is it? I don't know where it is, but here it is. 
This is my other Pixie Skin Treats. I'm just going to share this with you guys. It's the Glow Mud Mask, and it's a 15-minute facial, and I absolutely love it. So definitely check out the Pixie line, only sold at Target as far as drugstores and, of course, their website. So check them out when you get a chance. You guys are going to love them, especially the toner. I have been telling my best friend Pia to get her hands on these, so I'm just going to probably try to pick them up for her because they're amazing. They're so good. Like, I just, I, I can't stop using them. I use it day and night, but, oh, my God, the smell. I like the smell. I like the way that, I don't know, I'm just really addicted to these. I need to stop. If I can, if I wish they had, actually they do have makeup removers, but I just can't say enough about this. Great job, Petra. Petra, I believe, is the founder of Pixie, and I'm just obsessed with her collection at Target. Okay, the last two things, because I have to make this, this is like ridiculously long video already. It's the Charlotte LaCroix Renewal Eye Cream. It has argan stem cells, and look at this beautiful packaging with the pump which is a plus for me as you guys all know i want everything with a pump and this is basically an eye cream i use it day and night i have been loving the way that it kind of uh, decreases my dark circles my fine lines which oh i hate so much but um being a brand new mom and a working mom full-time mom it's a must and i feel like i've been using this for the past three months Two or three months, I would say. No, I, I think three months for sure. Because I've already been at work two months and I used it before while well, I was still on leave. So this is some great stuff. They actually sent me other products, but these are my two favorites. Um, I do have to do a more thorough review for you, but this is the Charlotte LaCroix Firming Face Serum. Again, with Argan Stem Cells. And these two are my go-to. These are included in my evening and morning skincare routines and i am so happy they reached out to me because their products are amazing so definitely check them out i hope that you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching i plan to do another video with kira for her little five month update she's gonna be six months six months can you believe that it's crazy oh i love her so much but shout out to all the moms out there. It's the best life ever. And I couldn't, oh, I feel so blessed, so grateful. I'm getting choked up talking about this. But okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you guys very soon. Bye. Uh, <laughs>